With thousands of satellites orbiting Earth right now, it would seem like it would be likely that satellites should be colliding with each other all the time. Images like this don't help the cause, which are used quite often when showing how cluttered space is. This is an over-exaggeration on how cluttered space is with satellites, because the picture suggests that satellites are the size of towns, when most of them are smaller than a football pitch. A collision with multiple satellites in space is not very safe for us down on Earth. We don't want things weighing tons falling down towards Earth, destined for destruction, assuming they don't hit the ocean, which they typically do. In space, there are hundreds of millions of small objects which are around one centimetre in size, which poses a threat to anything in their way. Because these are so small, they are undetectable by instruments, which means they could potentially hit satellites all the time, or hit astronauts during a spacewalk, which could puncture their spacesuit. So why do satellites not hit each other more often? They don't mostly collide due to there being a lot of space in space. Orbit altitudes are split into three zones, low Earth orbit, medium Earth orbit, and high Earth orbit. There are 35,786 kilometers between sea level and where the high Earth orbit begins, which means there's a lot of space for satellites to orbit between. Obviously orbiting at sea level isn't very practical. All different satellites are put in different orbits for different reasons. We will place geostationary satellites 35,786 kilometers above sea level if we're wanting to place the satellite where they would always orbit above a constant spot, like they're tied to that spot. Another reason is the physics behind it. If objects are orbiting at the same height, they must be going the same speed to maintain their orbit height, which means that the chance of another satellite ramming the back of another one is quite unlikely if they're at the same orbital height. There's also the reason of precision and timing if two happen to collide. Satellites travel at many kilometers per second, so it'd be like trying to hit a bullet with another bullet. With the International Space Station being quite a priority for us, NASA does have steps in place to move the International Space Station if anything has more than a 1 in 10,000 chance of hitting the space station, and considering the space station is moving at 7.66 km per second, or 27,600 km per hour, a collision with another object in space would be catastrophic. In 2009, two satellites collided, and it was similar to the bullet-on-bullet -bullet scenario because one of the satellites had orbited Earth this way, and the other that way. These satellites were expected to miss one another by half a kilometre, but ended up smashing into each other at 42,000 kilometres per hour. During March 2011, the International Space Station did end up having to make an avoidance manoeuvre to avoid the collision debris, and this was the fifth time in two and a half years that the International Space Station had to execute a collision avoidance manoeuvre. The International Space Station's velocity was changed by 0.5 meters per second by a burn which lasted for 3 minutes and 18 seconds. International guidelines mean that satellites which are discontinued are placed into disposable orbits to make sure they're not getting in the way of the satellites which we're currently using.